Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 22 News at Noon. I'm Rich Tedemer. We begin with breaking news. State police as well as the FBI have been spotted investigating multiple homes across Hamden County this morning. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live in Feeding Hills with what we're learning from a news conference the U.S. Attorney's Office held in Boston. And seven men were arrested in an FBI raid. Catalytic converters, about 500 of them stolen across New Hampshire as well as Massachusetts. And right now, an investigation is happening here in Feeding Hills. We're not exactly sure if this is connected with that. We're still waiting for formal confirmation. However, this has been going on all morning. FBI agents as well as state police here. Multiple vehicles seized. One of them with Connecticut place, another a black sedan here. This has been going on all of this morning. Now, those seven people who were arrested according to state and federal authorities during today's news conference that just wrapped up in Boston. They said the men stole more than 470 catalytic converters and then sold them across state lines valued at roughly $2 million. U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins said multiple raids were conducted this morning. 22 News spoke, uh, spotted a couple of investigations locally. We're still waiting to confirm which ones are in fact connected to that raid. One of them here on Southwest Street. When uh, state police, they say seized up the black sedan. Uh, we also noticed FBI agents as well as state police out here and multiple vehicle parts being taken out in boxes today. Uh, another location that FBI was uh, did confirm that they raided this morning was on Church Street, Thordike area in Palmer. Catalytic converters in recent years have become incredibly valuable because of the metals inside and they can take minutes to steal and thefts have increased 12 fold from 2019 to 2021. That's according to the National Insurance Crime Bureau. Now, this is still a developing story. This investigation con being conducted right here in Feeding Hills still going on. We're waiting for more information from the FBI as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office. We'll continue to update you both on air and online at WWLP.com. We're with you live in Feeding Hills. Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.